baseball fans, and welcome. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs taking on the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set, now at the plate, Nick Maton. Two and one now. And that drops in for a strike. Two two now. Popped up left side. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. And here is Herrera. The one two. Bounced out to short. Sends it to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. John Andrioli will hit next. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That's a nice at bat and a great take on 3 2. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Runner at first with two away. And now it's going to be Derek Hall. Runner on the move. There's a ball. Throw to second. Out there. And that ends the inning. We go to the bottom of the first, and the batter will be the shortstop, Oswald Peraza. Going to count one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. This place is absolutely loving it. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. Jose Peraza at the plate. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that's the first out. Here's the third baseman, third Phillip baseman. Evans. Phillip Evans. Next offering way off the plate. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Next offering upstairs. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, a great back and forth, and that at bad. He had to play off some really close pitches, and Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Calls it in, two away. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Batting fifth, the center fielder, Esteban Gloria. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Second inning set to go. Now here is Derek Hall. The wide to kick the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. Leadoff man retired here in the second. So up next, Josh Steven. The left fielder, number 10. Josh Steven. Next two. one misses, and it's two and one. Two one strike, the count. The wind and the pitch late that time and it's strike two well they just threw that fastball by him elevated and if you're not looking up in that location very difficult to catch up to especially with that velocity 
3 2 now. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. That's going. And it's gone. A solo shot. And it ties it up. It's tied at one. Josh Akami getting ready to hit. And now a full count. Count is three and two. That one to first. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Stepping in, Will Toppy. Tied up here in the early going. to the pitch and fouled off one two now good eye right there two two now swing and a miss struck him out and the inning is over Bottom half of inning number two, and now Ryan Lamar. And a count one and two. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And now the lefty. And another ball. And here it comes. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Pereira racing over to make the catch. Here is Ender Enciarte. The designated hitter, Ender Enciarte. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. On the ground to first, could be two. Wide throw, and it gets away. And he'll reach second with one away. Here's the catcher to hit, Rob Brantley. The catcher, Rob Brantley. And a pitch. Got him. Huge strikeout there. Here's the shortstop at the play. Oswald Peraza, the solo homer his first time. Two outs, two in scoring position. And there's a ball. At the belt and fires. Line drive. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, on to the third inning, and here is Ronald Torres. Ball to strike. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, through a lot of pitches. One, two. Rip to right, base in. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Next to hit, Rafael Marchand. 
Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And the next pitch is way outside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And that one is lifted in the air. Beltre pulls it down. Runner tags up for third. Safe. He beats it. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Two on, one out. Now the number two hitter, Odubel Herrera. Next offering is in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. That one misses, and it's two and two. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. On the ground to first. Could be two. There's one. Back to first. Double play. Nice job getting over, and that ends the inning. And welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the second baseman, Jose Peraza. The next offering misses. And a count two and one. And a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. Now this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. And down on strikes. One away. So digging in, Philip Evans. He reached out a walk his first time. Bounce to the left side. Throws to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. And now the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Comes a 2-2. And that one hammered way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Welcome back. On to the fourth. Leading off, John Andrioli. The pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And now it's filled up. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Nobody out, runner at first. Pickoff throw, and he's back standing. The 1-1. One, one. And downstairs. Righty delivers. Swing and a ball popped up. Peraza under it. One down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Now, Josh Steven. He's already homered here in this one. Left-hand hitter waits. That one missed.
two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Left hand batter waits. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Transfer bobbled, and there's no throw. Kicks and fires. And he walked him. Well, they didn't give him anything to hit, and now with runners on first and second, they've set up a double play opportunity. So not a terrible result. Josh Akami, the next to hit. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And that one wrapped foul. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Two and two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Right side. Beltre puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Now that the third base will talk. Two two now. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. Ready to go, bottom four. And now it's Esteban Florial. In for a strike, now it's three and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. This to center field. Makes the catch for the out. Ryan Lamar digs in now. Left fielder, Ryan Lamar. And he deals. Good eye right there. And another ball. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And the 3-1. In the air, right field. Andrioli racing over to make the catch. Here's Ender Enciarte. The designated hitter, Ender Enciarte. Next offering is in for a strike. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Here comes a pitch. And a base hit into right center field. Now it's the right fielder, Michael Beltre. 0 for 1 as he reached on an error his first time around. That misses the zone. It's 2 and 2. The pitch. Tapper back to the mound. To first. And that is the inning. Pitching change here. Shelby Miller. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. All set for the start of the inning. And yeah, the batter now, Ronald Torres. And a 1-1. This one in the air center field. Florial makes the grab. And a quick out number one. And now, Rafael Marchand. And the pitch. Popped up. 
and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. And now Nick Maton. Two outs. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the catcher, Rob Brantley. The one, one. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Here's a one-two. Rolled slowly to first. He steps on the bag. One up, one down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Pretty good job of the mound in this one, Singy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off-balance swings. Yeah, just one free pass. And uh, obviously, he's not a big strikeout guy. But he gets soft contact, and he gets out. The, the next pitch misses, and next it's two and two. two and now the lefty. Up the middle, Torres picks it up, whips it to first. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along, two quick outs. Good two-seam action right there, running away from the batter, rolled over it, got the ground out. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field, and it drops in. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. Ripped to third and caught. We go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Hey. Got him. And there's one away. And now, John Andrioli. the count two and one Aye. swing and a line drive caught and next will be the cleanup hitter Derek Hall one two now bounced up the middle and that's a base hit and that extends the inning. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at-bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Well struck left field. That one back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Christopher Sanchez. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth, and here's the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Here's a 2-1. On the ground to third. The throw to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. And now the center fielder, Esteban Florial. Swings and misses. One and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering misses. 
Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. We got three balls and two strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Here's a 2-2. That one the other way. Base hit. Here comes the throw. Over to third, but the throw's offline. So now the DH spot, Ender and CRT. And here it comes. And they're all loaded up. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. Mistake to this next batter, and this inning might really break open. Michael Beltre now at the plate. Now this one's well hit, way back there, on its way, and out of here! Grand slam! He'll circle the bases, and that's how they take the lead. It's 5-1. On the mound now, James Norwood. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now the catcher comes up to him. Rob Brantley, the 2 1. The other way. He's got it, and there's two away. And the batter now, Oswald Peraza. Not shortstop. Oswald. Peraza. Right side, Torres handles the chance. Tosses to first, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Welcome back. And now here is Josh Akami. And the righty deals. And a pop-off right side, foul territory. And he makes the catch. One up, one down. Will Toffee will hit next. Will Toffee. One, one now. Just missed. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Digging in, Ronald Torres. Next offering is down low. Right-hander kicks deals. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Next to hit, Rafael Marchand, and there's a hit. Rudder scores from second as they get one back. It's 5-2. Well, that gets them a little closer in this one. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Swing and a miss, and a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Peraza. They get the force, and that is that. Welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Jose Peraza. 
And a 2-1 on the way. And that one missing low. This one in the air right field. Andrioli has a beat on it. Calls it in. And there's one away. Down the third baseman, Philip Evans. Philip Evans. Next no. pitch just no. misses. The count now two and two. And there's a the ball. Why to kick the pitch? Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The kick, the three two, and a foul ball. Three and two now. Stays alive. Grinding A.B. right here, about to see pitch number 10. On the ground to short. Over to first. Oh. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, the Ronald base. Guzman, for the fourth time tonight. Guzman. Two down, nobody on. Ripped on a line. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Ryan Weber trying to protect this lead. Ready to begin the eighth. Now, here is Odubel Herrera. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. looking and that's the first out John Andrioli the next to hit he's over one two two now well it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth that closer's coming in and that one is lifted in the air Makes the grab for the second out. And now it's going to be Derek Hall. To the right side. Peraza over to pick it up in plenty of time to first and that will end the inning Sam Coonrod comes on now and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance of the inning. Here's the center fielder Esteban Florial. Right-handed reliever. Late with the swing there. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. A wind in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Now so up next, Ryan Lamar. Ryan Lamar. The one one fought off foul one down base is empty 
That one misses. And the count is even two and two. And a pitch. Upstairs. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two-strike pitch. Liner snagged it first. Two outs, base is empty. Next is the designated hitter, Ender and Ciarte. And one and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And that's a base hit into left field. And that keeps the inning going. The Two back. outs, runner at first. Michael Beltre digs in now. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Coonrod makes the catch, and that'll do it. Zach Britton into the game, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's going to be Josh Steven. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. The pitch. And now it's filled up. 3-1 count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball to bring the count full. Now this is in the air down the line. Lamar moving under this one. And out number one on the grab. So now here's the DH, Josh Akami. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. The pitch. And the one-two misses to even the count. At the belt and fires. And a ground ball to first. Guzman takes it to the bag. And they're down to their last out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. The 2-2. Two -two. Got him. And that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.